Rob Stone, two damn phones, Babylon's can't crack the code. Used to sip out stop report, but figured I should stick to drop backwards. What is up guys? Hey, it's WWE Collector7, and today you are watching from the title of my video. You are watching my WWE Survivor Series 2016 predictions. I will be doing results as well on Sunday late at night or on Monday in the afternoon. I don't know. I might. But I'm just saying. Um, so I'm, today I'm going to do my predictions video. So I think this. Alright, so let's get started right away anyways. You guys know what's going on now. So um, the first match we got. I think this will be the opening matchup of the night. I think. It's going to be uh, The Miz. Now, see, this is why you always do predictions right after the last shows, that before the pre-preview, like the shows right after. So, like, for example, uh, you always watch SmackDown first before you do predictions, just in case there's a title change or something like that. Or there's a new video announced, new match announced, you know? Then you're going to want to go delete your prediction video and do another one, you know? Well, I said you know twice for some reason, and now there goes three. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so I think this might be the opening matchup of the night. And as you know, now that the Miz, now the Miz is the Intercontinental Champion again, he is now tied up. Um, I don't know who he was tied up now. Who is he? How many times has he become? I don't know. But so now he is the Intercontinental Champion again, and he is going to be taking on Sami Zayn, as you know now, as you can tell. I don't know why this is there. Oh yeah, I watched Eddie O Five guys. If you guys do, you 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 guys should watch him. He's funny. He, his kids are just funny as hell. But yeah, anyways. So we have this, and I think Sami Zayn is going to win. for Just because The Miz, I don't think they want The Miz to become champion again. And nobody really likes the fact that he wins. Some people do. I don't. I don't like the fact that. Now that the Dolph Ziggler is a jobber now, I guess. Again, they ruined it. Great. But I honestly think Sami Zayn is going to be taking the Intercontinental title home with him to Raw. And then I think SmackDown's going to plate the same plates of the Intercontinental title. Get this. They're going to make the white strap into blue strap. You guys think that? I know. I think that. Because WWE has been doing that now. And they already done it to the tag team belts. And they've done it to the women's championship. And the, well, they haven't done the Universal title. The Universal title is actually red. And I'm honestly thinking Raw is going to be turning, turning their strap colors into red now, I think, is what's going to go on now. But yeah, so I think Sami Zayn's going to win, and Miz is going to lose, and they're just going to make another Intercontinental title, Intercontinental title, but blue strap. And I don't know what they're going to call it, though. But yeah. Next, we have the Team Raw versus Team SmackDown uh, men's match. This is the males elimination match. So, Team Raw is on the left. We have Braun Strowman, Seth Rollins, Chris Jericho, Roman Reigns, the United States Champion, and Kevin Owens, the Universal Ch Universal Champion. And on the right, we have AJ Styles, the World Heavyweight Champion, and Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, which is now with uh, Bray Wyatt, and Baron Corbin, which is actually injured, so he's replaced with Shawn Mike or Shane McMahon. So, forget him. He's not in the picture. But, yeah. And that's the team that's going to be happening. So, I think Team Raw is going to win this time. I'm so disappointed I'm going to say this. But, yeah, Team Raw is going to win this time. Well, there's a twist there because Bray Wyatt's on Team SmackDown and Strowman is on Team Raw. And they're both part of the Wyatt family. I think Braun is maybe going to take out Bray. But what I think is... Oh, that's what I, other people are probably going to guess, that Bray Wyatt's going to get hit by Braun. But I think Bray, Braun will help Bray Wyatt beat um, some of Team Raw. And I think, but still, I think Team Raw is going to win either way because they have Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins now. And they have Chris Jericho, which kind of sucks at this point. But he's funny. He's funny with his list and stuff. But, and Ke they have Kevin Owens, too. And I think Braun's somehow going to help Bray Wyatt win some of this match. Some of, like, maybe help eliminate, I think, Chris Jericho or something like that. I don't know. But I think he might help out, and he's going to leave out. He's going to ditch on his own team. And then I think SmackDown's going to still lose either way, though, I think. So, yeah, I honestly think that might happen. I do not know, but it could happen at some point. And I just keep scrolling away for some reason. But, yeah. 
I mean, Shane McMahon's on this team, but I still does. I just don't think it's gonna compare enough to take out Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, and Kevin Owens. So I think Team Raw is gonna win. Anyways, next we have the Cruiserweight Classic match, where if Kalisto wins, he he will become Cl Cruiserweight Classic champion as well, and he will be taking the Cruiserweight Classic uh roster way with SmackDown to, with him. I think, yeah, but if, so what I'm trying to say is, if Kalista loses, then, uh, the Cruiserweight, or if Kalista wins, he's gonna get the Cruiserweight Classic Championship, of course, and the Cruiserweight Classic is gonna be moving to SmackDown only, and, yeah, and, but I don't think, I think this time Raw is gonna also win again, uh, they're gonna stay on Raw, I'm pretty sure, and I know I don't know I think Kalisto's just gonna somehow screw it up and he's gonna get caught in a Captain Hook and he's gonna lose, cause Sin Cara already lost on SmackDown, so they're probably gonna make Kalisto lose again, even though he lost the United States title like three months ago probably don't I know, but yeah and then the Brian Kendrick that's what he calls himself Brian Kendrick I think he's gonna win so yeah. Next we have the Divas uh Team Raw versus Team SmackDown match. Uh, on Team Raw, we have Nia Jax, Sasha Banks, uh, Charlotte, Bailey, and Alicia Fox. And on Team SmackDown, we have Carmella, Becky Lynch, uh, Nikki Bella, Alexa Bliss, and Naomi. I think on Team, I think that Nikki Bella, Carmella is going to somehow cause Nikki Bella to get eliminated, and Becky Lynch is going to get caused to get eliminated, or Alexa Bliss is going to cause Becky Lynch to get eliminated. To have the upper hand for Team Raw, but get this, Charlotte might do something to Sasha Banks, or Sasha Banks might do something to Charlotte to cause her to get eliminated, one of them, and then Team Raw is going to actually win still either way, or either way, yeah. So I think Team Raw is going to win again. Just, I think Alicia Fox is going to be the first one eliminated, and on Team Raw, on Team SmackDown, I think Naomi is going to be eliminated. Don't get wrong, don't get me wrong, I think, I think. I'm just thinking. I'm not saying it's true. But yeah. Next we have the tag teams match. So we have the tag team SmackDown vs. Raw as well. So let's review Team Raw. Team Raw has the Shining Stars, Cesaro and Sheamus. Uh, the Bullet Club, also known as Carl Anderson. Well, some of the Bullet Club. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Enzo and Big Cash down here. And the New Day. Then on Team SmackDown, we have Brizango, American Alpha, The Usos, Hype Bros, and Heath Slater and Rhino. And they are the champions at this point. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions. I think um, SmackDown is going to win only because they have like the American Alpha, and they are doing pretty well at this point. They just beat the Headbangers on SmackDown this week, or also known as yesterday, because by the time you guys watch this, SmackDown has already passed. <clears throat> And, yeah, I just think that that's going to happen. I don't know. I know they have the New Day on here, and Xavier might do something to cause it. Unless Xavier, or whoever, you know. I think Xavier is going to be in the match. I don't know. But I think that's what's going to happen. So, yeah, even though it might not, but who knows. Then we got our main event of the night. We have, I think this is the main event. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. But we have Bill Goldberg, or I'll just refer him as Goldberg. He'll be taking on Brock Lesnar, and this is the cover of SmackDown, or the 2K17, without Goldberg in there, it's just Brock Lesnar, but yeah, I think, uh, this has happened the second time, and this is gonna be a good match, and I think, just cause this is only Goldberg's match, this is his only matchup for now, at least that's what we heard, I think Goldberg is gonna win, so yeah, uh, you guys can agree on me on the comments below or not, but, um, I th I just think there's going to be a lot of F5s and Spears in this match. It's just going to be the best match of the night. Or greatest match of the moment. Or the greatest match of this year. For Slammy Awards. You know? Guys? You got me here? Only because Brock Lesnar's...